everyone, it's me, Shaki, again. So I decided to do a voyage over for this entire video. Anyway, I joined a webinar that will actually help me in my MA since I'm about to pursue mine. The Netflix can be, for example, the watching of movies can be um, a motivation for you when you have a break, no? when you have longer breaks. I will also talk about Pomodoro Technique and I will tell you more about it. You can also find a place where there's not much distraction like having your children kung meron ka ng family around or your brothers and sisters. My ate bought this because she's been craving for this. And also, it's like her way of celebrating her upcoming birthday. Later that day, I decided to pay a visit to my mom. Perhaps you're wondering where is it located? This is located exactly in Holy Cross, Novaliches, Quezon City. So I opted to walk even if I had a lot of choices to choose from, especially there are tricycles, there are taxis, or I may also use Grab. However, I decided to walk in order for me to feel relaxed because of the scenery that I am actually seeing. So I'll make a very short cuento. My mom actually passed away way back 2017, particularly October 22, 2017. She died due to her complications in diabetes. Perhaps you're wondering how I was able to overcome that phase of mine or like how did I cope with it? Anyway, there's this thing called five stages of grief. So where did that came from? So back in 1969, a Swiss American psychiatrist named Elizabeth Kubler Ross wrote in her book on death and dying that grief could be divided into five stages. And those are denial, anger, bargaining, depression and acceptance perhaps you're now asking why do i have to involve the five stages of grief and that's for us to know that every pain that we are experiencing are all valid and grief isn't measured alone with the loss of our loved one may it be with other aspects these five stages of grief made me realize that in order for us to accept the situation that we are in now is that 
you have to face all the hurdles you have to face the problems the struggles in order for you to fully accept and to fully understand why it happened i also came to a point that i had to ask god why it happened to me or of all people why does it have to be me but then i came to realize that everything that is happening to us has its purpose has its reason and i think one of the reasons is that for us to be courageous enough to be courageous enough to take challenges in life yeah if ever you're seeing this or like hearing this i hope na lumaban ka darating din yung light and silver linings sa life mo you just have to be patient so if you're going through something please feel the pain until it subsides because it is all valid pero lumaban ka ha Aasahan ko yan. This has been Jackie. Thanks for watching. Bye!